Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, YouTubers. This is Jerry Diamond with How to Get Out of Babylon, Flat Earth Homeland, Operation Ephraim's Rescue, Ozark Plateau Relocation Association Headquarters. <laughs> Got it. All right. <clears throat> so I just did a quick blurb for salt and sea uh lyme's disease i'm, I'm gonna i'll come back to that later because it's that needs to have a whole you know video of its own uh it's phenomenally powerful phenomenally important salt is critical what these guys figured out is in brief um that in 1970 a study came out which said salt might be bad for you now it did dis great discredit to the rats involved in this study because they didn't take part in this conclusion, okay? It wasn't their fault. These Nazi expletive, 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 expletives do things to kill people, okay? And that's what they did. If you want to read a very similar situation, okay, uh, Chertoff and Wolf. I remember their names, Chertoff and Wolf. And this is very similar to salt because I, well, iodized salt might be bad for you. Salt might be bad for you. Iodine might be bad for you. It might be. It might be. Okay? And it might be so bad for you that we're going to make a drug with it and then so we can make it illegal. And just, don't get me started on that one. Okay. Hmm, do I want to go with the statement or do I want to go with the story? Let me go with the story. Okay. Uh, this was okay. This was one of the most phenomenal days of my life. My wife at the time had had this issue, this problem, and we found out that there was an arrest warrant out. So she hunkered down, and it was over a weekend. It was a Friday when we found out. She went and stayed out in the woods somewhere. And uh, Monday morning, we went to see an attorney. And he says, you don't want me. I'm the most expensive attorney in Missouri. Expensive attorney in Missouri. And you don't want me. And we said, no, we do. So, okay. So we worked a deal out with him. And he sent us to, he was a Christian attorney. <laughs> and he sent us to Christian County, to a Christian bail bonds lady, who put her through the process without actually arresting her and putting you know cuffs and all the other crap on her. So w went through the thing and bailed her out, bonded her out. So while <laughs> she's over there with the uh, deputy guy going through the, put your hands behind your back, you know, whatever, put this orange suit on, pretend like you put an orange suit on, pretend you put your hands behind your back and all that crap. Um, I start jabbering, start talking with this lady. And she was, she was really, you know, very well dressed, you know, bell bonds right, right on downtown, whatever Christian County, but you know, um, very, very, very attractive woman, and uh, and I was talking, and you know, we're jabbering away, and and she says, you know, and she she we're, somehow or another health came up, and she said my mother had her a breast removed, and then they wanted to ha have her have take the other one off, and she goes, and do you know what the problem was? And I said, hold on, let me tell you what I think it was. I said 95% uh, of all breast lumps and tumors and cervical lumps and tumors and uh, operations are caused by one thing, iodine deficiency. That's what it was! You know, <laughs> you know she, oh, she was steamed. And about that time, you know, I had it in my mind, I said, you know, when we, I've only known her for like, 10 or 15 minutes, you know, I said, man, when we leave, she's going to hug me. And boy, she did. You know, she just gave this big old, you know, awesome bear hug, you know, it was cool. So yeah, iodine deficiency. Now, Chertoff and Wolf. Okay. Dr. I'll just think of his name in a minute. Um, been a long, long time. Brown, Brown, Browning, Brown L, Brown something. Um, said this, what all of the swords and bombs and guns of World War I and World War II 
put together could not do. Two men did with the stroke of a pen. And then he said it differently. Those two men killed more people than all the bombs and swords and guns of World War I and World War II put together. Fact. Every breast operation, every mastectomy, every cervical cancer, every uterine removal due to cancer, iodine deficiency. So tell me how important it is. Do we want to get into this? <sighs> All right, briefly, one more thing. We have a thyroid. Now, the FDA has a rating for your minimum daily requirement of iodine. That amount is enough, barely enough, to keep you from getting a goiter. They look ugly. And if Americans can't put up with ugly, so let's give them enough iodine, make sure they get enough iodine, that they don't have the goiters on their necks. It's not, not a, a lump, okay? What is a, what does a breast tumor start with? A lump. What does cervical start with? A lump. What's a lump? It's your body going, I need more. I need iodine. I need iodine. Because the breasts need iodine. Every organ in the body needs iodine. But I need iodine. So that I can give iodine to the breasts, and I can give it to the cervix, okay, the uterus, and liver and everything else. But those are major receptor sites for iodine, and the thyroid is what collects the iodine and distributes it, you know, conjunctive with all the organs. So, um, so that, you know, it's, it's, a, it's an enlargement, okay, an enlargement, looking for, it's like the, the, it's swelling up to look for iodine. Hey, got to find some iodine. Got to find some iodine. Got to find some iodine. Where is it? There's not enough. We don't have enough. We need more. Okay, so. Um, so anyway, that that's a little bit on that. But yeah, very, very important. Now, there's two things that iodine does. One is that, well, let, let's. I'll start with the second one. Because it's the less common one, but it will be the more deadly one in the long run when certain events happen. If there is a nuclear issue, there's isotopes of various elements. Okay, One is iodine-131, I think. Yeah, It's a radioactive isotope of iodine which is unstable. And your thyroid is designed to suck in iodine. It'll suck in that, you know, radioactive iodine. Once that happens and it starts attributing up to your body, you're pretty much not going to make it. So how do you... It's the idea of, oh, this is great. What an object lesson, okay? Here's your thyroid. The glass is your thyroid. And here's your iodine level radioactive issue, your eye, your thyroid is going to immediately fill up with more iodine. Not good. Not when it's radioactive. Okay, so you want to keep your thyroid topped off with good iodine. Now, we took for a long time Lugol solution, which is the best way to get it. And uh, because of drugs, because of meth, because of the use of iodine in concocting these ridiculous drugs the DEA is regulated and you can't get it and the company that we were buying it from I was buying it from out of California stopped making it without telling me I was going to buy I wanted to buy a 55 gallon drum of this stuff and it would have only been 500 bucks after Fukushima that 55 gallon that 500 dollar investment would have been worth about $20,000 if I felt like selling this stuff yeah $500 $20,000 these are the kind of things that I've you know put together and know about so, the only company that right now, the decent company that I know of that sells it, J. Crows, J. Crows. It's real simple. They they do um, they promote apple cider vinegar. Uh, Jarvis's book on um, Vermont folk medicine. Read that book. Simple stuff. Apple cider vinegar is miraculous. 
um, vet there would take horses from racetracks and, and give them apple cider vinegar and and they would go back to the track and they wouldn't get sick and they'd win the races and blah 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 like eight and ninety percent of his horses won races whatever so uh but yeah um apple cider vinegar is awesome but and it's cheap you know again fermented product make sure it's got the mother in it that means you have a, a genuinely you know fermented product so yeah when i pause like that that means <laughs> bunny trail got to get back on the main trail so uh yeah iodine and this so almost got it brown whatever okay i'll look it up so iodine is critical and salt is critical both of them and they're both uh, and potassium iodide is a salt sodium chloride is a salt sodium chloride is a salt oh my gosh oh my gosh Sodium chloride. See, there's so many free and dumb, crazy, insanely cheap things. It's ridiculous. Uh, the, the little ding ding there was um, sodium chloride. Sodium chloride is NaCl, right? Okay. N, Na is your sodium. Cl is your chloride, chlorine. NaCl, that's salt, table salt. NaCl2 is sodium chloride that means two atoms of chlorine and then of course sodium chlor eight is three sodium chlor eight is so unstable you can it's weed killer basically that's what it is it's a, it's a salt but it's weed killer okay don't drink it sodium chloride is what is if you ever heard of a product called mms we'll come back to that later because that's another uh, very 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 powerfully effective uh free cheap and easy uh, virtually free you know um, basically, what it does is it creates a chlorine gas, <laughs> and you drink it when it's done from it, re reacting. You put acid, uh, vinegar, or citric acid, and it reacts and smells like propane, I kid you not. And then you drink it, and three drops is about right. So, go into that later. Why am I doing this? I don't know. I hope somebody appreciates it or gets something out of it, or maybe we help a lot of people when they get here, you know, en route here. Any of the things you can pick up, bring with you, obviously. Um, so MM, MMS will be another one, and that'll that'll be a whole video in and of itself, just like the uh, salt and sea, which I'm gonna I need to get back to pretty quick here. So salt and sea, but I was talking about you know Wolf and Chertoff, the two guys that did the study on iodine. Well, two guys did a study on salt. Bunny, the whole iodine thing was a bunny trail. Sorry, good one though. Okay, so I got two minutes left. <laughs> so two, a couple monkeys, three monkeys, whatever, did a study on salt might be bad for you. So doctors started saying, you know, don't, don't, don't eat salt. It's bad for you. 1970. Remember that. 1970. Let me write that down for you. Okay. 1970. See? 1970. Okay. In 1977, so many people had been getting some weird ass disease, quote unquote, that they finally figured it out, kind of what it was, and they named it, and it was named after Lyme, Connecticut. Okay? Lyme's disease was named after Lyme, Connecticut, where they finally tracked, you know, they put this together, and they said, okay, it's a it's a weird disease. It's caused by a bacteria called Borgerfurter Wurgers. You know, who cares what bacteria it was? It's a pleomorphing system. I've already explained that much. So it was caused by, these limephoto.com people say, caused by lack of salt in the diet. We used to have like 20 grams of salt. And this, uh, it, it, let's say I'm 250 for every 10 pounds, so that'd be 25 grams of salt. Kills everything. In your diet, okay? Does it work? Yeah, it works. I'll uh, tell about. I don't have enough time to tell that story. So, next little uh, daily video, we'll get back to that. So, salt and sea equal amounts: one gram, one gram, two gram, two gram, three gram, three gram, four gram, four gram. Okay, that's basically what you're doing. And I'll come back to that in a minute here. So, this is Jerry Diamond. If you're listening to this, you are the remnant. <laughs>